All my friends, mom, all my girlfriends go out to ladies' nights. They always complain about the same thing. There were so many creepy guys there. It's called ladies' night. What did you expect? A lady didn't invent ladies' night. Let's say you're a zebra, and on Thursday you take all your zebra friends out to zebra night. You can't be surprised when 50 hungry lions show up. I got drunk up Irish car bombs, man. Murder, man. It is Guinness mixed with Baileys and Jameson. You know they don't serve Irish car bombs in Ireland? Like, if you walked into a bar in Ireland and say, hey, I need a car bomb, the bartender will go, shh, come closer. <laughs> but that's how cocky America is, though. We take a tragedy in another country, we turn it into a Saturday night. I would feel more comfortable ordering an Irish car bomb here in America if I knew that over in Ireland there's a guy walking into a bar going, yeah, I'll take three Pearl Harbors and a Flavor Flav. <laughs> Because those are both American tragedies. Have you seen? His complexion is catastrophic. Have you seen him? I'm, we're so cocky, we have a piece of candy called the atomic fireball. You've heard of that. You think Japanese people are eating that? Think how arrogant that must sound to the Japanese. Hey, we're sorry we nuked your country, but this is cinnamon. It kind of burns. No, you don't place it in your mouth, you drop it. And here's a second one that's completely unnecessary. Hey, you can chase it down with this kamikaze. There you go. <laughs> like, we're so cocky, we don't even use the same hurricane name twice. Do you really want people to evacuate, use the same name again like a sequel? Imagine how scared everybody in New Orleans would be if they knew Katrina 2 was on its way, right? Because <laughs> they're running out of names, man. Two years ago, it was Hurricane Ike, and Ike is not a name, that's a nickname. How do you take that seriously? You know, it's like 37 homes were ravaged when Hurricane Pookie hit shore, right? <laughs> Followed by Tropical Storms, Dre and Snoop. Before that, it was Gustav, which means they're running out of American names. Which means in 10 years, we'll all be running away from Hurricane Sanjaya. I don't want to get blamed for it. <laughs> also, if you're not Indian and you see a movie about India, don't think all of a sudden you can relate to me. Like we have this magical connection, man. Last 10 months, I get this literally once a week. Oh my god, you're Indian. Have you seen Slumdog Millionaire? <laughs> You know why that's wrong? You wouldn't do it to anybody else. Oh my God, you're black. Have you seen Big Mama's house? <laughs> oh my God, you're Chinese. Have you seen Kung Fu Panda? <laughs> oh my God, you are so damn ugly. Have you seen Shrek? Have you? <laughs> oh my God, you only have one leg. Have you seen Footloose? <laughs> oh my God, you're blind. Have you seen... Oh, you haven't seen anything? Like that. <laughs> so embarrassing. I'm not gonna ask him if he's seen Ray. <laughs> Have you heard Ray? <laughs> That's awful. I need to quit drinking bad. Here's my problem, I don't want to be a non-drinker. Non-drinkers judge other drinkers like they're better than you. You don't have to drink to have a good time. Well, you don't know what a good time is. You never, <laughs> never had breakfast at four in the morning. The most important meal of the night. So I love IHOP, man. They have pictures of food on the menu. But I know what an omelet looks like. I know what a chocolate chip pancake looks like. You ever been to a Korean restaurant? There's no pictures of food on the menu. No English either, just those Korean symbols. I'm trying to order for my date. I'm like, all right. She will take the sideways comb on fire. <laughs> And, and, and what do you recommend? Um, the bubble with feet or the half-finished game of hangman? So I order the half-finished game of hangman. Turns out, it's freaking chocolate chip pancakes. Who knew? I was at K-Hop. And I asked for chopsticks, and the guy goes, one? Yes, I would like one freaking chopstick. I'm ordering Cheerios, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> trying to cook Indian food, man, but that stuff is ridiculous, man. There's an aroma with Indian food that radiates for miles and miles, dude. When I was a little kid, that's how we used to find our relatives' houses. My dad would just roll down the car window, take a lift, take a lift. Like that was our GPS. In 2.2 miles, take a right. Hold on a second, I can't smell it anymore. Recalculating, recalculating. <laughs>